Hi friends! Today, I'm here at the Shed Aquarium in Chicago. And guess what? I'm going to take all of you along with me to see some of our marine friends. So first, I decided to visit the Caribbean Reef. I saw a stingray. Different types of fishes. And a green sea turtle. Then I went to the Amazon Rising. I saw another turtle called a map turtle. I also saw a tiger ray. And this very big and very long fish called Arapaima. Next, I decided to go see some of the sharks in the wild reef. On my way to see the sharks, I found a lionfish. And for the most exciting part, I finally saw the sharks. Do you remember when we sing and dance to baby shark in the classroom? Well now, you're going to see the different types of sharks that you can find in the ocean. This is called a zebra shark. It has black spots all over its body and it also has a long tail. This next animal coming up may look like a shark, but it actually comes from the family of rays. It is called a white spotted guitar fish. Now this is a sandbar shark. This is the biggest shark that you can find in the wild reef at the Shed Aquarium. And did you know that this type of shark stays very close to the ocean floor where they hunt smaller fishes, smaller sharks, and rays? After visiting the sharks, I saw another type of fish called a clownfish. As you can see, they come in many different colors. There's blue, red, orange, and pink. Now the next animal that I saw has a really unique shape, and it's also very, very tiny. These are called seahorses. Then I decided to visit the Abbott Oceanarium where I met Cruz, the sea lion. I watched Cruz do a lot of tricks 
and I learned that he was a rescued blind sea lion. Because Cruz can't see, he uses his ears and his sense of touch. Do you see that stick with a red tip on it? Well, it makes rattle sounds that helps Cruz do amazing tricks. Although Cruz couldn't see, he did sure do a lot of cool tricks and it was really fun to watch. Hmm, I wonder what those two creatures are. They're really big, and they're also really white. Can you guess what they are? That's right! They're beluga whales! And I was really excited to see them. Do you remember our beluga whale book in the classroom? Well, this is what a real beluga looks like. The Shedd Aquarium has nine different beluga whales, and they all have different names. Do you see that mist that is coming out of the beluga's head? It means that the beluga whale is breathing just like us. Beluga whales have spouts called a single blowhole, and this helps them breathe air. Do you remember Cruz, the sea lion? Well, I visited him again in his cove. He looked kinda tired though, so I kind of said bye to him after a few minutes. I spy with my little eye something that's jumping out of the water. Can you find it? There it is! It's a dolphin! Did you know that dolphins can leap up to 20 feet in the air? Imagine jumping that high! Do you remember the dolphin picture that we have in our potty? Well, this is what a real dolphin looks like underwater. As you can see, the dolphins swim right side up, then they spin and swim upside down. I also got to see some penguins. This type of penguin is called a Magellanic penguin. Penguins can sometimes look like birds. They have wings. But, instead of flying, they swim. Magellanic penguins swim very, very fast. And they use their flippers to swim and dive underwater. On my way out, I got to see the beluga whales again, swimming underwater. Whoa, they look bigger and longer underwater. Look, it's 
a starfish. Don't let the name confuse you though, because sea stars are not fish. As you can see, the sea stars have five arms. They use their arms to stick to rocks to protect themselves from other animals. And that is it for today's adventure at the Shed Aquarium. I hope everyone enjoyed it as much as I did. I'll see everyone soon. Bye!